the topic of this video is evaluating exponential functions. Previously, we learned eight functions in the library of functions. Today, we learn number nine, the exponential function. And in the next section, we learn number 10, the logarithmic function. We begin with the definition of an exponential function. An exponential function is a function of the form f of x equals capital C times a to the x power, where a and capital C are real numbers, with a greater than zero, a not equal to one, and c not equal to zero. The exponential function has the horizontal asymptote y equals zero, which is the x-axis. The base, a, is called the growth factor, and capital C is called the initial value. The domain of the exponential function is all real numbers. Now let's talk about why some of these things are true because that will make it easier to remember. Let's start with our final sentence. The domain of the exponential function is all real numbers. Our exponential function is shown here. When we are looking for the domain of a function defined by an equation, we're primarily looking for three things, even index radicals, log arguments, or denominators. Since our function has none of those, that means our domain is determined by step one, which is start with all real numbers. And then we never remove any, so our domain is all real numbers. Now, let's turn our attention to these restrictions over here. It says a has to be greater than zero, a has to be not equal to one, and c has to be not equal to zero. Let's start with c is not equal to zero. If c was equal to zero in this function, then we would have f of x equals zero times a to the x. And by the zero property, that would simply multiply to make zero. Zero times anything is zero. So we would get f of x equals zero, which is a constant function. Therefore, it would no longer be an exponential function. That is why c is not allowed to be zero. a is not equal to one. All right, well, if a was equal to one, what would happen? One is an interesting number because when you multiply one by itself, no matter how many times, you simply get one. So if a was one and you raise it to some power, then you're just gonna get one as the result. And then when you multiply that by c, the right-hand side of this function would just be c. So we get f of x equals capital C, which is, again, a constant function, not an exponential function. Talking about why a has to be greater than zero is a little bit beyond the scope of college algebra. So for now, I'm going to simply say, and remind you several times, the base of your exponential or your logarithmic expression must be positive.